Hello all, and thank you for joining me. I am Ariel Sika, uh, Creative Director of Current 120 Digital Marketing, and this is an episode of Wisdom in 120. So I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of how you can save time through Chrome bookmarks um, for your social media and marketing needs. So I'm gonna share my screen real quick, kind of give you guys a little walkthrough of how to do this and how I use the organization to make my life easier. All right, so we are looking at the new tab on Google. Um, they give you a couple of uh, top hits for what you usually use, but we're not going to look into those right now. We're going to look at this bookmark bar, um, which you can tell with mine is very full, but very organized also. Um, a nice little helpful hint for some of the apps for Chrome. Um, one of the reasons we love Chrome so much is because they have the organization of the docs, the drive, YouTube is all connected. It's super user friendly and it saves all of your um, bookmarks and settings so that if you log into another device um, with the same account, you can actually pull up your bookmarks on your phone, um, which is super helpful for someone that is doing things on the go occasionally. So um, top, some of the top places I, go are right here in this um, first section and I have them um, as quick links basically uh, that I'm using all the time. Um, and then I get into a couple of folders based on current 120s business needs, our marketing needs, um, and then some clients and other design tools. So um, one way that I really find this helpful for people working on websites and social media is um, it can be really hard to jump into getting your social media planned out for the month or scheduling it all. It seems like a really big daunting task. So if it makes it any easier just to have everything at the, your fingertips, um, it makes it that much easier to get started. Um, so here we have our drop box um, with a quick link to our clients. Um, we have a couple of our favorite programs um, and CRMs that we use. Um, I've got some of our video links. Um, we have a Excel doc or Google doc um, for basically anything. So we have our prospect list here and we have um, some other really helpful uh, documents that we've made. Um, for marketing, we have created ahead of time. Blogs are terribly frustrating um, for some people who don't like to write like myself. Um, so to make that easier, we brainstormed a ton of ideas and we put this on the document so that when I'm ready to write, I don't have to fumble around with an idea. I already have some solid ideas here that we've um, given a brief overview of and so I can just get started writing right away. Um, we have our social media schedule, all of our social um, links here so I can quickly jump to our page. Um, and then we have later, which is what we use to schedule our posts to all of the platforms. Um, our YouTube channel um, and our, another link that we use for our website. So this is super easy. When I'm ready to get started on social media, I just quickly jump to marketing, click on our social media tab, which will take me to the Google Doc, and then I also pull up our later account. And then this allows me to quickly jump into both of my um, browsers that I need to have open to make these things happen, and then I am on with it. Um, for our clients, we encourage them to do the same thing. So we actually have a couple of our other clients organized um, in here so that we have all of these needs quickly at our fingertips. Um, so Birchwood, uh, we have all of their accounts here for social media. We have a brief um, marketing plan that we base a lot of our work off of. Um, and we also have some ongoing uh, documents that we keep track of analytics, social calendar, um, and then some other quicker links that I use often just to jump to their website um, or that email. Tools. Um, we use all sorts of tools and I'm pretty sure that anyone uses tools like this. Um, they may look different for you than they look for me being a creative director and uh, web designer. So I have them organized by design tools, social media tools, and then web tools. Um, so anything that I ever find that's really super helpful, 
or if I use um, for like social media, for instance, I jump here to get um, the best sizes for images for different platforms. They're always changing. So I found a blog that stays up to date. This says 2018, but when you click on it, it does go to 2019. Um, so I found a blog that always has this up to date and I can quickly jump here, find what I'm looking for and not have to search Google for what I'm looking for. Um, another thing that's really helpful, um, we have tons of little hashtag creators. Um, we also have like headline idea generators. These things are all saved here so that I don't have to try and remember what the um, tool we were using was. If I like something, I bookmark it and then I can use it again. And then for design tools, um, here we have like some of our font um, choice options that we can use. Um, all of this is super helpful for me. I also have some like personal things on here, communities that I'm involved with, um, some health stuff because I'm a health freak, and then some other quick links for personal use. Um, so that is just an overview of what I use my Google Marks or Google bookmarks for. Um, and you can use them really in any way that you want. Um, and like I said, when you have it on Chrome versus another, um, I can quickly just jump to my phone. And then I have all of those same bookmarks here. So if I'm on the go and I need to check something or quickly schedule a post that I couldn't schedule in advance, um, then I just jump to it on my phone. And it's right there. So I hope this helps you save time. Um, let me know if you have any questions specific uh, about our tools or um, organization, and we can make another little video. Thanks for watching.